We are live. Let's just make sure we're live. <clears throat> What's up, everyone? Are we live? Let's see. We are live. Hey, everyone. How's it going? I think you guys remember me from last time. I'm Francis. You may know this guy as well. Hey, what up, guys? What up? So we're here to first say uh, thanks for everything for Subeme La Radio. Yeah, thanks for all the support for Subeme La Radio. Song's going crazy. It's been Sorry. spectacular. Thank you to, to all my fans, and thank you for all the support with the video and our radio and um, for purchasing this song. Muchísimas gracias. Yeah, sorry, I got 65 million views on YouTube in a little over two weeks. Um, it's in the global top 50 on Spotify. So all the links are in How the post. How do you know all of this, Francis? Because I, that's, that's what you pay me for. I gotta know all I this pay stuff. pay you for that. That's right, you pay me for my <laughs> other skills. All right. You pay me. That's true, a lot of money. Um, so we're gonna answer some questions. First and foremost, go to the YouTube video because we're gonna answer some uh, questions that are in the comments on YouTube. So. Head over to the YouTube video right now, and, and we're gonna answer your questions. And we're gonna answer your questions, and we'll then we'll uh, hit some questions on Facebook, and uh, maybe do some fun stuff like last time. Maybe do some FaceTiming with some of you guys if uh, you guys send us your FaceTime. FaceTime time. would be good. Yeah. Send, yes, we like that. Send us your FaceTime info in the direct messages on Enrique's Instagram. Don't put them public, just send them in the direct message. Don't make your info public on Instagram. Um, and we'll see if we can uh, call some of you guys on a video FaceTime. Wow. And then That's maybe like, if like you guys, I know, yeah, yes. we'll go. this is our, our third one. Wow, very yeah. good. Thanks. Um, and then uh, finally, we may have a special guest for you guys. Which is, we don't know yet. We don't know yet. Okay, we might not have um, a special guest. Anyway. Uh, so let's get started. Let's uh, let's ask, answer some questions let's to get see. to what we thought we're doing. So let's go on to Facebook and sorry on a YouTube on the video. Uh, we got a couple of sele selections ahead of time, and then we'll dive into the ones that are coming in live. First question: Ariane de de Bakker, de Bakker, you think? De Bakker, yeah. De Bakker, do you like being actively involved in? The edit after shooting a video. I know the answer to this one is. Yeah, I do like being uh, involved uh, in the edit of a video. Videos are tough. I've always said this in many of my interviews because uh, you, 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 you try your best and you never know. I've done a lot of bad videos, as you can tell, through the years. And a lot of good ones. And not a lot, a of, lot good of good ones. ones, but I feel like this one, Sue Mela Radio, was actually a good one. Thankfully, Alejandro um, Perez. Uh, director from Cuba did a, an incredible job, and all the fans that showed up um, were spectacular. It was it was it was incredible that we were able to capture that energy on camera, which was really cool. And then editing. Afterwards. Oh, the edit. Yeah, the edit always takes time. I like to go in. I just like to make sure that um, it's as good as it it can be, or at least uh, that I feel that I feel confident. Um, I feel confident about it, um, and sometimes uh, those edits can be. Sometimes you don't even need. There's no comments, but a lot of times, unfortunately, there are, and you go back and forth. I wish all the videos were turned in, and all you had to do was say, "Okay, perfect, let's go," but it's a lot of work. Yeah. But it's worth it. Number two. So this is uh, from Mate. Thank you, Ariane. Mate. Ariane. What are you? Ariane. Ariane. Ariane? I think it's Ariane, yeah. It could be Ariane, too. Could be. You never know. Uh, Where do you think Ariane is from? Uh, if you had to guess. I think De, De Bakker, I would say from the Netherlands. I would say Thailand. <laughs> good, good guess. Good guess, right? Yeah, good guess, Aguado. Um, so, okay, so this is from Matej uh, Matrej. Uh, you actually Mitrache. met Mitrache. You met Matei backstage in. This is the guy. I did. Yeah, I this did. is the the guy from. And I uh, remember Prague. perfectly. He's wearing the uh, the same hat. Yeah. I wear on my shows. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So. He, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I met him backstage. Hi, yeah. Matei. Hope you're uh, well. I met you with your mom. That's right. Backstage. Yeah, he came. He. Yes. Now, where is he from? Do you know? Uh okay. I bet you don't know where he's from. I bet you I do. Cause where is he? He's from Romania. No, you're wrong. Where is he from? He's from Romania. <laughs> He's from Romania. And if I'm not mistaken, I don't know if they drove. 
to um, to Prague. I think but, they flew. I think oh, they flew. flew. Yeah. But um, okay, what's the question? Go anyway, ahead. The the question is. I need my glasses so I can read. Yeah, I know. Um, tell, how do you start with the songwriting process, mm -hmm. um, and how do you know what a song is about? Um, good question, uh, Mate. Uh, uh, the cool thing about writing songs is there's there's truly no rules. Um, some songs um, start from a place that's very personal. Some other songs are just fantasies. Some songs take 20 minutes. Some songs take 20 months. Um, but most of the time, at least with me, the melody and the lyric are pretty much simultaneous. Um, having said that, um, uh, there's been songs where I had the melody lingering for months and then it took me a while to write the lyric and eventually uh, I got the lyric right um, and vice versa. There's songs that I had a lyric but I didn't really get the melody right. Um, songwriting process and the making and making an album can be extremely frustrating because uh, one day you you feel like you got something and or, or for a few weeks you feel you got something and then suddenly you feel like you take you're taking two steps backwards and it it's frustrating, but when you get it right, it's, it feels feels really good. Cool. Thank Thanks. you, Mate. Thanks, Say hi Mate. to your mom. Yeah, we'll see you at the next show. Um, next one. The next is, show, which is? The next show is in. <laughs> you need Stockholm. to look at the schedule. Stockholm, no, it's not. It's in Bahrain. The next show. Oh, you're right. Sorry, yes. Bahrain. Um, and the next one after that. Stockholm. Stockholm. Stockholm soon. You got that right. And then Berlin. And then, and then Berlin. Helsinki. And then Helsinki. And then uh, Dansk. Dansk. And then Milan. And then Bologna. And then uh, Santander, Santander. Spain. Which is going to be huge. Which is going to be fun. It's a stadium. And I'm actually, um, I'm, I'm looking forward to all these shows. It's going to be, I haven't been to Stockholm in quite a while. I think since 2000, I mean, I've been there for work, but not for a live show since 2000. I think 2002, if I'm not mistaken, which is crazy how long it's been. So it's going to be a lot of fun to be singing um, all the songs that I've done since. Which of those places have you not been? Um, well, I haven't been to Berlin also in a, <laughs> since 2002 in concert. Helsinki, I've been to, and I love going to Helsinki. Uh, 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 Dansk, I've never, uh, never, say, performed. never performed there Milan? before. Uh, Milan I have also 2000 around 2001 or maybe even 2000 which is crazy uh, Bologna I've never performed a show and Santander I've never performed a show so a lot of these places either I haven't been to um, in a long time or I've never been to so it's gonna be it's gonna be fun yeah get on it most of those places are selling out too guys oh. um, <laughs> I gotta it. plug your stuff, right? Yeah, That's... At least I don't have to yeah, plug it. Yeah, exactly. Um, next question from Fatima Ansari. Fatima this Ansari. Is a, this is a good question. I like okay. this question. Um, was it hard shooting Super Mario Radio in the busy streets of Havana? It wasn't hard. It was actually a lot of fun. Um, that was, we kind of wanted to, what you see in the video is what we wanted to capture, kind of like a making of and, and the energy of the fans. Um, and I actually, a lot of video, a lot of these shoots can be, um, for videos can be extremely stressful. This one for some reason um, was not. It was a lot of fun. Um, not that you can't, not that it can't be stressful and fun at the same time. But this one uh, just it was, it was pretty easy going. And, and Alejandro and, and the guys and, and the Semer and Simon Lennox just uh, made it easy. It was it was it was a lot of fun, and, and it was a lot of fun to shoot in Havana. I think that was the Havana. most fun I've ever had on a video shoot. You serious? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Like when there we went out to the street and all the people were dancing. And yeah, people was from really that cool. scene. It was that it was, was incredible. That was pretty mind blowing. Um, all right, next question from Maria Masheva. You've actually you met Maria in uh, where'd you meet her? In that's Bulgaria. Maria? Yeah. So if I met you, Maria, in Bulgaria. Are you sure? Yep. Don't make a mistake because Maria's watching this, yeah. then she's going to be like, Yeah, it's, it, Come was, on, it was Bulgaria. Yep. Okay, so Maria from Bulgaria. Is she from Maria? I don't know. I don't she believe from she's from Bulgaria, though. Okay, she so Maria, which I met in Bulgaria. What's yep. up? She wants to know um, if you weren't a singer, what would you be what doing? What would you be doing? Oh, that's a question I get asked 
uh, many times. I don't know, Maria. I honestly don't know what I'll be doing, which is scary. Um, and I'm, I don't know, maybe a pilot. Um, yeah. You love planes. Yeah, I love flying. So maybe, maybe a pilot, I guess. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I'd be a good pilot or a safe pilot, but I, but I do like flying. You'd be a good pilot. You think uh, I would? Wait, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe no. not. Yeah. No. If you fly like you drive. I actually drive pretty well. You drive. Yeah, you drive great. <laughs> <laughs> wait, no, it's me that's a bad driver. That's oh. right. Right. Maria, the kiss. Um. All right. So let's. Should I? Should I bust out my Spanish skills? Because we need to take some some questions. Do it, questions. Francis. Okay. This one is from. Vanessa de EI. You're I, surrounded by Spanish speaking people all the time, so I you know. might as well learn to speak pr Spanish. I'm practicing. Um, Enrique Ame, Supermera La Radio. Enrique, she loves Supermera La Radio, yes? Oh, Enrique, amo Supermera Radio. ¿Cómo te ¿Cómo sentiste siente? con la gente de Cuba? Eh, Vanessa, muy bien. Eh, conocer a los fans de Cuba nunca había estado en, en La Habana y nos lo pasamos eh, muy, muy bien, como acabo de decir hace unos unos segundos, unos minutos, eh, fue muy divertido eh, y, y, y fue una experiencia, una experiencia inolvidable y yo creo que pudimos eh, captar esa energía en el vídeo que queríamos. Así que muy, muy bien. Gracias, Vanessa, por la pregunta. And the next one, also in Spanish, looks like this one. This, this is, is from one. Lucia. Lucia. SN3, oh. I can say, say, say yeah. SN305. Eh, Lucía, preguntas, eh, la pregun tu pregunta es, ¿tienes ganas de venir a España en julio? ¿Nos vemos? Por supuesto que tengo ganas de ir a España. Eh, estoy nervioso. I'm always nervous to play in Spain because it's where I grew up. It's my home country. Um, never played Santander before. Never, nunca he estado, nunca he hecho, dado un, dado un concierto, perdona, en Santander y este concierto va a ser en el Estadio eh, Sardinero, que va a ser espectacular eh, y tengo muchísimas ganas, pero te, te mentiría si no, si no dijese que estoy algo nervioso, aunque ¿no? siempre me pongo nervioso antes de los conciertos, pero este va a ser un concierto, esperemos, eh, realmente especial. Muchas gracias por la pregunta. Cool. Uh, all right, so let's, let's head over mm. to some of the Facebook questions. Lucia. Uh, let's go in here. Yeah, that question looks good. Lucia. All right. You may ah, want to read that one. Lucia. No, you can read it. Go. Okay, here we go. Let's go. Hola, Enrique. Te siento muy bien el reggaeton. Te animarías a sacar un nuevo CD integralmente dedicado a eso Henry, <laughs> gener, genero? Genero. Genero. ¿Y por qué? Hace genero porque. Good. That's actually pretty good. Um, nailed it. Nailed it. You did. You nailed it. Uh, Lucía, eh, me encanta, me encanta el género reggaetón, eh, el, el, el ritmo, la energía que tiene. Eh, me siento cómodo cantando eh, en ese género. Eh, pero al final, yo creo que depende siempre de la canción. No, hay canciones que que, que van muy bien con ese con ese ritmo y hay canciones que no. Eh, pero sí, sí que quiero seguir haciendo canciones que tengan tendencia a ir un poco más hacia lo urbano. Eh, pienso que la, la música urbana en español o latina eh, ha ido evolucionando muchísimo en el transcurso de los años y, y a mí me divierte mucho lo que es este estilo musical. Así que indudablemente sí que voy a estar, eh, sí que sí, ojalá que siga escribiendo y cantando canciones que, que tengan que ver con ese género. Um, so, why don't we do Gracias this? Por la pregunta. Why don't we ask, while you're answering another yes. question, we can get somebody queued up on FaceTime. Let's do it. Like we we, are we getting boring? I don't think so. Yeah, we're a little boring. How right? do we mix it up? I don't think. Well, let's let's call someone. Yeah, let's do it. Well, I, let, while, okay, while let's... you're answering this, I'm going to get this person on FaceTime. Okay. Um, so this is a good question. The music okay. video looks. This is from. Um, actually, let's do this one so this from one. Jessica. Jessica. I was wondering how you selected and why you selected different locations for the last mm -hmm. three videos. Bailando was in Dominican Republic, mm -hmm. Huele was in Panama, and Subame in Cuba. 
Is there any reason for these locations? Um, and how do, you, how do you, basically, how do you guys how do you select the locations? Okay, so the locations get picked. Um, if we talk about it, we talk about it, we discuss it with the director. Sometimes it's more the director's idea. Sometimes it's more my idea. Sometimes it's more the idea of other artists that I'm um, collaborating with. So it, it depends. Um, in the case of Bailan, that was shot in the Dominican Republic, and actually part of some of it, the dance scenes, some of the dance scenes were shot in, in, in Cuba. Um, Panama was obviously Duel Corazón. Uh, we wanted a place where we could get um, um, uh, a city that kind of looked like Miami, and still we could go to a place that had a desert, which was pretty interesting to see that Panama had a desert because Believe it or not, excuse my ignorance, but I didn't know that, um, and that was that was pretty cool. And then um, Suéme la Radio um, was actually an idea that came from the director to shoot in La Habana. He was very clear that that's what he wanted, and um, we did it, and it was great. All right, so we have we have Brooke on Facetime right now. Say hi to Brooke, everyone. Hi, Brooke. Brooke, can you hear us? Hey. Whoa. Hola. Hola, Brooke. I think I know you. Yeah. How are you? Oh, do you? Do I need to point it this way? No, either way. Okay. Just, just as as, uh, oh, reconnect. Uh, she's got a bad you. connection. No, this is. I think it's her connection. Oh. Yeah. Here. Oh, Brooke, Brooke. We lost you. Except. Here she comes again. <laughs> Hi, Brooke. Se cortó. Se cortó. ¿Qué me quieres preguntar, Brooke? What do you want to ask me that you haven't asked me before? <laughs> we, well, I know. Tell me. <laughs> you know, I've told you everything. Yeah, you do. He sido tu fan desde 1995. Enrique, te quiero con todo mi corazón. Muy bien. ¿Qué tal tu familia? Muy bien. Aquí estoy ahorita arreglando mi carro. Pero dije, voy a ver a Enrique mientras arreglo mi carro. Qué bien. ¿Te chocaste o algo? ¿Pasó algo? Ah, okay. So you're a good driver, right? ¿Cuándo vienes a Los Ángeles, Enrique? Los Ángeles, actually, we're just, estamos hablando de que estamos ya eh, planeando una gira por Estados Unidos, eh, and it's gonna, we're gonna announce it very, very soon, which I'm okay. very happy about that, and it's gonna be with a good friend of ours, so, you know, it'll be fun. Okay, ahí estaremos. Solo nos vemos ahí. Venga, suerte con la batería del coche. Te un beso, gracias. Venga, un abrazo, un abrazo a todas. Gracias. Bye. <laughs> how many how many how many times have you met her before? Um she comes to a lot of the shows, yeah. I've met her since nineteen ninety five. She's a sweetie. Wow. Crazy. Awesome. So for everybody who doesn't speak Spanish, um the, Enrique just dropped some interesting news. But I said it in English and Spanish. Did you? Yeah, but I you weren't paying attention. No, you said una gira and una gira oh, in, yeah, los, yeah, in los Estados Unidos. In los Estados Unidos. <laughs> in los Estados Unidos. Uh, yeah, there's um Is it looks it? like we're gonna be touring in the US pretty soon. Pretty soon with a good friend of ours. Yeah. And that should be a lot of fun, like always. More info's coming really soon. More guys, info. So oh. Keep on keep on the socials and keep looking out for stuff. Um Do you know what cities in the US? Mm, I do actually. You do know the cities? Yeah, I do. What are the cities? Can, Let me see. I can tell you some of the cities. Lots. Chicago, Denver. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can I say some of these? Uh, LA. Yeah, I'm not maybe, sure. Maybe you yeah. say all of them. You know, maybe, you maybe guys. We should leave gonna, the surprise. Okay, okay. We're gonna be we're gonna be going to a, we're gonna be going to a lot of cities, which is gonna be cool. Yeah. All right. Let's do another. Let's do another question, and then let's see if we can cue somebody up on on FaceTime. Um, uh, let's see who's this. Where else? Okay, I like this one. This comes from this comes from uh, Jessica Leo. Um, Jess. Jess Leo. Jessica. If you if you Jess. had if you had to get Jess a Leal. tattoo of one of your lyrics, what would it be? And she didn't ask this, but I'm gonna ask, where would it be? Um, if I had to get a tattoo of one of my lyrics, it would be in my right butt cheek. <laughs> and it would be about what? Um, and I would just. It'd be a title of one of my songs. Which song? I like it. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, what? I'm uh -huh. serious. Of course. Sure. And it would have to be in the right butt cheek. Because your left one's not very really impressive. The left one doesn't look. Yeah. No. I've no, been it's, working out the right one. It's the right one. More. Oh, look who we got here. <laughs> Hi. Oh, what, who's this? 
Hi, Gazelle. Gazelle? Hi, I met you in Toronto, remember? How are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, good, good. How'd you, uh, how, are you watching us right now live, obviously? Yeah, I was just watching you guys. Cool, how's Toronto? Is it cold? It is so cold here. It's ah. freezing. It looks like we're going to Toronto soon, too. Yeah, so, I was saying, like, you said last time when you called me that you would come this year. Yes, and you know what? And Wait, was this just Giselle from yeah, the last Yeah, from the last... Oh, how did she look? Because you guys are probably... Are no, you, is, we're not playing favorites is Francis, at all. Has he been calling you? No, this, the... the... No, he has, I knew it. <laughs> right. So what's up? What's the question? Uh, that's a very good that's question, very good actually. Question. It took about 1,454 shots. No, it took a lot. It took, it took many shots. And if you notice in the picture, um, um, I was supposed to be dry, but obviously that was going to be impossible because that must have been... No, no seriously, um, I probably did it about like 80 times, 80-something 80 oh times, but that was like second to last picture. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was a, it was it was it was fun doing it. It was actually shot here in Miami by a friend of mine called Al Silfian, which he's he's you know I worked with him through the years and we have fun because it doesn't I I, I suck for for photo shoots. I'm not it bores me a lot. Um, but with Al, since we're friends, he kind of makes it easy, so it's cool. All right, so we'll see. we'll see you in Toronto, huh? Yes, please come back. Yes, and if you can come backstage so we can say hi, that'd be great. Okay, so make sure you call Francis. Make sure you call Francis tonight. Right. Well, I'm sure Francis will call you tonight. Jesus. With the same number? Yes, with the same number. This is a secret number. All right, <laughs> take care. Goodbye, love you. Bye. Take care, un beso. Love you. That must, that, that shoot must have been a great workout for your right butt cheek. Yeah, it was. That's just how. Um, it for that tattoo. What is it with. I just said that once. You don't have to repeat it. Huh? <laughs> ah. um, Prashant. Wants to know. Shot. Your favorite cartoon characters. Your favorite cartoon characters. Hands down, uh, my favorite cartoon character when I was a child and still today would be Superman. Superman? Yeah. Why Superman? Second Spider Man. I don't know, because I'm obsessed with flying and I wish I could fly. Cool. Sounds very stupid, but yeah. Alright. Um, Prince? Come on, Francis. Prince? I'm looking through some of these. Prince, uh, Prince Donatius. 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 Prince Donatius. Why did you choose the music industry? I think he means, why did you choose singing? Why did you choose music as a Prince career? Prince Donatius. Um, I wonder if Prince, if he's, where he's, where he's from. But anyways, Prince, uh, why did you choose the music industry? I don't know if I chose the music industry. It was more, um, I guess it, it was through songwriting. And when I was 13, 14, um, just started to try to, to, to write songs and I, and I fell in love with it. I could do it constantly. Um, I wasn't a good student, which I'm sure I've said in many of my interviews, which is the total truth. Um, but I wish I was a better student. And um, I just wasn't good at when it came down to homework, but I could sit down and try to write a song and I could do that for hours and hours and hours and it wouldn't bore me I loved it you know so um, I knew I was gonna do it one way or another I mean or what I truly truly loved so thankfully um, here I am now if you would have asked me back when I was 13 14 if you know 20 20 20 something years later I would I would be doing this I I, I wouldn't I would tell you no Absolutely not. You know, I can't. I, till today, I still pinch myself and I just say, I, I tell myself, I can't believe I actually get to write songs, and um, I have you guys to, to to listen to them and and just to see that reaction and that it makes me extremely happy. So muchas gracias. I'm answering more. Actually, not that that was a question, but I just wanted to. Give you um, all the info. Give you all the info, exactly. Okay, let's take a... Let's Say take as a, much as possible. A Spanish, let's take a Spanish question. Spanish. Um, Lucia Valda. Okay, Lucia Valda, eh, hola Enrique. You notice how I read the ones in Spanish and you read the ones in English? Yeah, because you're better at Spanish than yeah. I am. Hola Enrique, ¿cuál es el secreto para 
eh, que todas tus canciones sean un éxito. Muchas gracias, Lucía. No, 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 no creo que todas mis canciones so sean un éxito, eh, pero gracias por el piropo. Eh, no, mira, no, no hay una fórmula. Eh, te, te, te dejas llevar por tu instinto y, y por lo que sientes cuando escribes la canción. Eh, y a veces aciertas y a veces no. Eh, pero, pero es eso, es simplemente eso. Y, y un poquito de suerte y, y, y vosotros y vosotras eh, cómo reaccionáis eh, a mis canciones. Hay, por supuesto, canciones que os gustan más que otras. Eh, pero gracias a Dios por ahora, en los últimos últimos años han sido, han sido buenos y, y os, os han gustado las canciones que, que he estado escribiendo y que he estado lanzando, así que muchas gracias, pero eh, no, no, la verdad es que no tengo una, un, un secreto o una fórmula, cool. ojalá lo tuviera. Es Lucía, gracias Lucía. About what we're doing, what we're doing. They want to know how Max is doing. Oh, Max, Max is doing. I'm gonna to try to bring and, him in. And they want to see. He's a little crazy, so. Uh, he, they they want to meet him. I'm gonna. Oh, but, we want to meet but, Max. But I got, we got I'll someone else in. here. Should we bring in? No. Oh, Jack doesn't even want to be on Jack's, camera. Jack's, Jack's relaxing. Jack doesn't care. He's, he's sleeping right he's now. Just taking it easy. He's chilling. He's chilling. Well, let's, maybe let's hold off for a second and bring him in at the end. Cool. Because we're gonna try, we're gonna we're, we're gonna do a little experiment. We're gonna switch over to uh, Instagram Live in a little bit. And if you guys want to meet Max, then everybody head over to the Instagram Live. Oh, so that's what we're gonna do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna He's have, the boss. We're gonna bring the party from Facebook over to Inst <laughs> over to Instagram. <laughs> Um, so let's say, let's ask answer uh, a few more questions and then um, maybe take a couple more calls and then we'll we'll introduce everybody to Max. Uh, Max, uh, Max is the <laughs> Max is Max is the star of the show. Um, that's why you save him for last. Yeah. Uh, okay, so Kishan Iglesias mm -hmm. on Twitter wants to know: Would you describe yourself as a good cook? Uh, I don't know. I'm not a good cook. Um, definitely not a good cook, Kishan. No, I'm not. I love food. <laughs> Do you but cook I'm not anything? Cook. Yeah, I mean, I can cook a little bit. I could, if you give me a steak, I could try to cook it. Um, but that's that's about it. You know? Okay. I can microwave a lot of things. <laughs> right on. Uh, Brooke, Brooke, Brooke P. Seven twenty three. Okay. Uh, how's your next album coming along? Do you have any idea when it will be finished? The and proverbial album question. Exactly. And who would up the last question before that, the cooking question? That was from... That was from... Right here. Right there. Kishan. Kishan. Thank you, Kishan. Sorry. Kishan Iglesias. I say thank you for the question. Um, so, Brooke, um, yeah, the album, I'm working on the album. I've been working on this album for quite a while. Uh, I just want to be able to write. I, I always tell myself that in this, whenever I finish an album, I say, okay, the next album, I'm not going to write that many songs. I'm just going to do 10 songs, and those are the 10 songs that I'm going to stick in the album, uh, on the album. And um, that never ends up happening. Uh, I just go on and go on and go on and just write, 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 write. So I've probably written so far, I don't know, probably. 30 songs and and just waiting waiting to see when I can you know put them all together and uh, satisfied with the album and the minute I'm satisfied the minute I feel happy that I got a good album that's I promise you guys you guys will be the first ones to know but hopefully soon all right where's 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 plus 91 is that India uh, plus nine one is yeah. uh, we're trying to connect. Palm Beach. <laughs> yeah, right. Plus nine one. All right, we're trying to. I think we're trying to connect with someone in India. All right, one more question, and then let's. Uh... Let's see one more question. Who's your favorite singer? Okay. Oh, I'm wait, favorite... hold on. We got we got Chad. Oh, okay. So, we... hi, hi, Chad. You got Enrique here. Hi, Enrique. Hi, Chad. How are you? Sorry, just. I'm good, Enrique. How are you? Good. Where are you at? 
India. Oh, you're in India. Wow, we're in India. Uh, I'm in Mumbai. Oh, you're in Mumbai. Cool, cool. Yeah, What's up? It's actually two. It's actually two o'clock in the night, and I'm I'm for you. Oh man, I'm sorry. Sorry. So you you usually sleeping at this time, I guess, right? Oh, sorry, you cut off there. Do you have school tomorrow? You have you have work? Uh, I work, yeah, I do work as a PR. <laughs> what time do you have to wake up tomorrow? I gotta be up at around 6 o'clock in the morning. 6 o'clock in the morning, wow. So you have, okay, yeah. okay. So, uh, what's the sorry, problem? after after this question, go to sleep, huh? Yeah, yeah, I probably will. I want to make sure uh, you check this out. I made a Facebook page of yours. It's a fan page, okay? Where is it? Where is it? I'm going to check it out. Uh, it's uh, www.facebook.com slash fan page Enrique Iglesias. It's almost 2 million likes. Wow. Oh, that's you, Chad. Yes, Francis, that's me. And I'm yeah. All right. And I'm music in India. Awesome. Thank you so much, uh, Chad. Thank you very much. Uh, and you know what? Subham Mala Radio is doing very good in India. Thank you. Thank you. That's thanks to uh, people like you, to my fans. Thank you so much, you know, for making you know this Enrique, possible. Enrique, you, you totally changed my life. Enrique, you totally changed my life. Like, I can't even know how it feels like. Your music is great. Oh, thank you so much. Now, you're, you're, making, me, you're, you're, you're making me blush. Thank you very much. Chad, you got a, do you have any questions? Just, yeah, yeah, I Tell me. have a question. Did, did, did you, like, uh, teach Max any tricks? Yeah, Max right now, I'm trying to teach him uh, a few tricks. Uh, he's more... He, he he listens more to my girlfriend than than to me, <laughs> but um, I in a few months hopefully he'll be listening to me. <laughs> uh, then I say hi, all right? I will, I will. Yeah. Take care, Chad, and, and go to go to sleep. Try to try to get some sleep before work. And thank you so much for the page. Tell me. Yeah, yeah, sure, no. uh, yeah, yeah I want to show you my tattoo. I had a pet. It, it was a German Shepherd. Look at this. Oh wow. Yeah, that's my tattoo right there. Is that, uh, is he, what's his name? Uh, his name was Phantom. Phantom, cool, 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 cool. Is, yeah. he, is he still alive? No, actually, he died. It's a very sad one. How old was he, he when he died? He was five years, actually. Five years old? Why did he die so young? He had a heart problem. Oh, man, I'm so sorry to can hear can that. You, can, can you please go for a photo? I want to take a screenshot for that. Yeah, you want me, how do you want me, okay. <laughs> go ahead. I'll do anything. You look great. Anything that's what. <laughs> oh, you want me to take a, a screen? You want me to take it and then uh, you want to take it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead. Sure, done. Yeah, so, all right. Chad, take care, okay? And thank you so much for the for the page, and um, we will we'll probably be talking very soon. Okay, try to yeah, get some sure, sleep. No yes, I will. Thank say you. say say bye to everyone from India. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> bye, Chad. Cool. cool. Well, speaking of Max, oh. should we should we maybe? Uh, well, aren't we going to? Yeah, let's... we're going to switch it up. Yeah, we're going to switch it up. So, so let's. So Chad, if you're still on and you're still watching, and if everybody's still on, we're going to we're going to get, get Max. Him. You you talk. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So Enrique's going to get him. him. So let me take us live on Instagram. Everybody, head over to Enrique's Instagram right now. Yeah. And we are going live in three, two, one. Say bye to Facebook. Everybody head over to Instagram on Enrique's Max. Live to say hi to Max. This is Max.